guys so today I'm just going to show you um, how I wax my eyebrows um, I had promised a couple people that I would do this a while ago and it's taken me a long time one because I had plucked my eyebrows when I had mentioned it and so I was waiting for my hair to grow out and they definitely need to be waxed so I'm just gonna kind of show you what I use um, things you will need uh, kind of some precautions and all that good stuff and just want to mention and throw it out there that I am by no means a professional and I've never been trained to do this. I just kind of learned on my own and went with it. Like, me and my boyfriend have done this so many times and we've done it to each other. He's done my eyebrows, I've done his. So we've gotten to do it on other people as well as ourselves. So that's just kind of how I learned, just doing, just practicing. So if you do want to do this, I would suggest, you know, try it out on yourself. And if you feel comfortable doing other people and do other people, but... I am not going to be responsible for um, anybody that decides to do this on their own with no experience because I was the same way. So wax at your own risk. Before you wax and you want to know where to start and where to begin, just um, find like a pencil or like an, uh, a makeup brush. Hold it on the side of your nose and that's where your eyebrow should begin, like that. So both sides, hold it straight. That's where they should begin. With, and then you go along with the center of your pupil. And that's where your arch should be. Both sides. And then you go from out your outer part of your eye. And that's where your eyebrow should end. Um, I do have hair there. It's just really light. So my eyebrow does end there. Okay, so first I'm going to show you the wax machine that I have that, um, that I have, yeah. So, it's the GG, I don't know, it looks like this. This is the box. Um, I got it from a beauty, beauty supply store uh, where I used to live. Um, you can get it pretty much uh, any beauty supply store, like Sally's, I know sells them, or who else sells them? I don't know, but if you have a beauty supply store near you, I'm pretty sure they have different wax machines. And this is just the one that I have. It's not necessarily, like I'm saying, it's the best one, but this is just the one that I have. Um, it's called the Space Saver Warmer. And it doesn't have any um, control of the heat. It just has an on and off switch. So this is the, this is the wax machine. Um, it's kind of dirty. Probably should clean it. But uh, I probably should have lifted the wax out of there before I started heating it up. Um, but it's just the honey wax. They have different ones that you can get for uh, different skin types. If you have sensitive skin, there's like a cream kind. Um, so yeah, but this is just the one that I have. When we got the wax machine, we also, when I say we, I mean me and my boyfriend because we both use it. So um, we got like a little starter kit of different products to use for waxing. Um, there are just four little bottles. I'll go through each one of them. Um, the first one is called Pre Han. And this is pretty much like a cleanser that you put on your eyebrows or the part of your body that you want to wax before you wax it. That way you clean any of the oils and any dirt out of your pores before you wax it. It also prepares like the skin and the hair to be waxed. And let's see, it says it minimizes inflammation. So um, I don't always use this, um, but it is good to use. And then um, after you wax, it's this is the post wax cooling gel. So if you have any redness or irritation, um, to put it on so it'll cool it. It's a skin refreshener. It says it contains aloe vera, cucumber, and menthol. And yeah, it just says that it soothes and refreshes the skin. And then um, this one is called Slow Grow, and you use it after you've showered and towel dried and you've cleaned the area. Um, and it pretty much is supposed to slow the growth of the hair so it doesn't grow back as fast. I don't think I've ever used this, but maybe I'll try it. Um, yeah, it just says minimizes the appearance of new hair growth. So I don't really know if that works. And then one of the most important things I think 
is the wax off because sometimes after you wax and you pull the strip off it doesn't necessarily pull all the wax off so this you just get a, it's like a blue um, cream and you just put it on the area that still has wax and it comes right off even if you get on like your fingers or anything like that so those are the four um, kind of like products that I use um, and then as far as the, like wax strips and like uh, the applicators you can use big ones like popsicle sticks like this if you're doing a large area and then for like small areas like eyebrows there's like ones like this um, these are the suddenly smooth contour applicators and then as far as like the actual wax strips um, I find that I like the um, they're pretty much just like let me take one out it's like a cloth but it's not like you can also get the um, muslim strips it's like muslim material kind of like canvas looks like this um, I don't really like these I mean they work but I feel like it doesn't pull the hair out as good for some reason so I prefer the fabric ones and these ones are kind of too big so sometimes I like to cut them in half so it's like this so it's like an actual strip that you can use for your eyebrow because when it's like large you're kind of wasting a lot because you're not going to put the wax here and here and then rip it off all at the same time um, I'll go into that and then you can also buy like plastic applicators like this one is plastic you can use either side but um, I don't know I find that these are whatever like you're going to throw it away anyway so might as well just get the wood ones okay so first I'm going to use the uh, pre-wax cleanser and it pretty much just looks like um, like a gel and I'm just going to go over the areas that I'm going to wax and then after that dries you um, you should normally use like there's a powder that you can buy that you put on it that the Gigi makes um, or you can use baby powder I don't have any at the moment so I'm just going to do it just on my bare skin um, the baby powder just kind of like shows you where the hairs are and kind of like prepares the skin and makes it more smooth and easier to I guess wax the area okay so when you dip the applicator into the wax machine um, and you'll know when the wax is done when it's all melted because it starts it solidifies once it's not heated anymore and it'll, it'll turn into a solid chunk so you'll know when it's ready because it'll be liquidy and will drip like that so pretty much I kinda just stir it around because it's been sitting so and then I clean off the stick on the edges pretty much what you're gonna do is you're just gonna grab about like I don't know if you can see that about that much and then that's like how much you're gonna use for wh whatever area you're doing you don't want to get like a lot of wax on the stick at one time because when you go to put it on your eyebrow it's gonna it will drip if you have a lot and then you're gonna end up getting wax on the hair that you don't want to wax I usually just like wait a few seconds after I've put it on the on the stick and you'll know if it starts to dry too much because it'll start to get really stringy but okay hopefully you guys can see this so I'm gonna start by doing my I guess unibrow area not that I have a unibrow I have a lot of little blonde hairs and I'm just gonna apply it like this in an upward motion going with the hair because you're gonna pull the opposite direction when you use the strip um, for this I'm gonna use just the big piece and then you just press it on there and if you're scared to pull it off yourself like get a friend to pull it off for you it's not that bad it doesn't feel any it doesn't feel I mean I guess I'm used to it but you just pull it off and that's what the area looks like it's gonna my skin because I have sensitive skin it will get red um, it feels I think it feels less painful than 
a band-aid. Can you see that? And then if you have any extra, you can kind of just like put it back on the, like, you know, kind of get the strip that doesn't have any wax on it and pull some of it off. One key thing you do not want to do is if you missed a hair, don't go back over the same area with wax. Just use tweezers later and pluck it because you don't want to put wax on an area that has already been plucked because you'll cause irritation and rash and you have now opened those pores um, from pulling all the hair out. So if you're putting wax in there, then yeah. Okay, so when you go to do, say, the bottom portion of your eyebrow, you're going to want to use one of these spoolie brushes and comb the hair up so that you can see all the hair that needs to be waxed and so that you don't catch any of those hairs um, that you want to keep. And then we're also going to trim them. Since I don't have one cut in time, I'm just going to use a big one. And make sure you pull it the opposite way. And you also want to, one thing I forgot to mention, like hold, hold the skin so that when you pull it, you don't have like all this give. So you just can pull the hair straight out. So that's the top part. Do the bottom now. I usually try to avoid getting it as far down on my eyelid because that's the part that hurts the most, but kind of didn't work out uh, this time. But so just press it on there. Hold the skin and rip it out. And that's what the strip looks like. So as you can see, there was a lot of hair there. <laughs> Not a lot, but. And like the last one, um, there are some hairs that I missed, so I'm just going to go in and pluck them. Okay, and then I'm going to trim them a little bit. And you don't have to trim them, that's optional, but I just like the way that they look once they're trimmed. So after you're all done um, waxing, you're not going to do any more waxing, um, you've plucked, whatever, um, go ahead and use the wax off if you don't have it. I would recommend getting it because there really is no other way that I have found to get the wax off. So I just put it on a tissue like this and just rub it. over the areas that had wax on them. I have such light eyebrows that if I always wax them, I would end up having like no eyebrows because I would probably end up waxing them away, but so sometimes I just pluck in between. I don't I don't do this like weekly or um, not even monthly, but if you are going to wax, I would recommend letting your eyebrows grow out as fully as they can because you want to get all the hair at one time. Because if you pluck and then you're going to go and wax later, some of the hairs that you plucked will grow back before the hairs that you wax. So it's better to just let them grow out. So yeah, um, that's like how I wax my eyebrows. If you have any questions, if you have any recommendations, if you do this yourself as well and you maybe see something I'm doing wrong. Um, love to hear your feedback. Love to hear any response. Um, I think I covered everything. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.